So I just got in my most recent order of bugs, and instead of just doing a same old, same old unboxing video of pulling things out, I'm actually going to be ranking all these different bugs on smell, from the most smelly to the least smelly. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first bug that I'm going to put at the top of the list of the most smelly bug I don't actually have because it is the most smelly, and that's going to be crickets. This is one of the reasons why I don't feed my chameleon crickets. They're smelly when they're alive. They're smelly when they're dead. Their, their food is smelly. Their poop is smelly. Like crickets are just smelly all around. So I'm going to give these guys a 10 out of 10. 10 being the most smelly score that a bug can get. And people do ask me about locusts because I know people over in like the UK or in Europe feed their commands locusts. I don't know because I don't have personal experience with locusts if they're going to smell as bad as crickets. So let me know down in the comments if you have experience with locusts, if those are smelly bugs. But I'm going to put them in the same category because they're similar. But you guys let me know. Like I just, I don't have experience. But crickets for sure are definitely the smelliest bug. So the bug that I'm going to rank as the next smelly is actually in this box. So let's get to the unboxing. There we go. All right, let's see what we have first. So this order is from dubiaroaches.com, which I've ordered from them a couple of times, and I actually have a discount link for you guys. So if you shop through the link down below, you'll get 10% off your order. So feel free to check that out if you're looking for new places to try bugs, or maybe you already shop from them and you're looking for a discount. So definitely check that out. So here we have hornworms, which are the bug that I'm ranking as the next smelly. I'm gonna give hornworms an eight out of 10 for the smell factor. And the reason being is while the worms themselves don't smell, the hornworm food smells and the hornworm poop smells. And this is probably the biggest complaint that people have with hornworms besides the fact that they grow super, super fast. And the only way I can describe the food is it's like, it's kind of like a fruity, poopy smell. Like it's not terrible and it's not going to stink up your whole house, but it doesn't smell great. It's pretty isolated to just the cup, but again, not great. If you have um, questions about hornworms, I did a whole video, a hornworm q and I do talk about the smell a little bit in that video, so I'll link that up above here and in the description box below if you want to check that out. The next bug on the list is going to be superworms, and I didn't order any because I already have some on hand here, and I'm gonna give superworms a seven out of 10 on smelliness. And the reason being is because a soup, a dead superworm smells awful. Terrible, 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 dead superworms are nasty. Live superworms aren't that bad, but superworms do die, it, is, it does happen. I, I've lost quite a few superworms in my day, and they are like disgusting, they're like zombie worms, and they're all like black and gross, and like, the other superworms will like eat the dead superworm and it's just smelly and gross and like bleh, not a fan. So I try to pick those out as fast as possible so they don't smell. Again, the smell is isolated to just the container. It's not gonna like smell up my whole apartment, but yeah, their uh, dead superworms are, are, are pretty gross. <laughs> so next up on the list is going to be mealworms. And I'm gonna give mealworms a seven out of 10, same score as the superworms. They don't smell great. I could take a nice whiff of this and it, the best smell, it's not like terrible, like, you know, awful smell, but it's, it's still it's still pretty bad. And I should mention mealworms are not recommended for chameleons. They're not nutritional, got high levels of chitin in them. As I've talked about this in a couple other videos, there are much better alternatives to feed your chameleons. And I did a whole video on what bugs to feed your chameleon and go more in detail, like the nutritional value of all the different bugs. So I'll link that up above here and in the description box below if you want to check that out. So we've gone over crickets, hornworms, superworms, mealworms, and the next one on the list I'm gonna put are waxworms. And I'm gonna give the waxworms a six out of 10. These should be my, one of these should be waxworms. Uh, I think these are gonna be my waxworms. Let's see. Oh yeah, waxworms. So live waxworms aren't that smelly. Um, wax moths aren't that smelly, but what is smelly are dead wax worm. It smells awful. And they like turn black and then they're like super, super squishy and those are smelly and like, I'm just not a fan of them. 
when they're dead. But what if wax worms, like, they don't really have a smell. The biggest smell to them is like the wood, like, pieces that they come in. But it just smells like, um, like bark chips or something, right? Like that to me isn't a bad smell. The next bug on the list is going to be silkworms, which I didn't order this time, nor do I have any on hand. But I'm gonna give a silkworm a one out of 10. So very, very low on the smell range. Um, the few times I have had silkworms, they've had little to no smell to them. Um, you do have like the mulberry leaves or the silkworm chow. That has like a very slight smell to it. But that's just my opinion. I know some people have put silkworms higher on the smell factor, especially like dead silkworms, but none of my silkworms died because I fed them all off to my canines. So that's not something that I've experienced, but just wanna put that out there that I, I do know of other people who rank them higher in smell because of the dead ones. So the next one that I'm gonna talk about are doobie roaches. And it looks like I have a box inside of a box. And that's because I ordered a lot of doobie roaches from doobieroaches.com, makes sense. So let's see. Okay, we've got a box. So I have another box. So let's open this one. Lucky you guys, two, um, two boxes in an unboxing video. Let's see, I've never ordered this many dubias online, so I'm curious to see what they look like. containers they're just in the box <laughs> oh there's one okay hold on I got I gotta grab my tongs okay I've got to mentally prepare myself for what's about to happen I have this tub with a carts and like some smaller dubias so we're gonna put them in there just know if I freak out I don't do bugs well <laughs> um, and past times I've ordered doobie roaches They've come in containers like this. I think it's just because I ordered such a large quantity that they came in the box like this. So just warning you guys. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, oh, I don't like roaches. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, so before we get into this, just very quickly, doobie roaches are gonna get a one out of 10 in smell factor. Doobie roaches are not smelly at all. They're super, super clean bugs. Like even their poop isn't very smelly. The dead ones aren't smelly. Like they're a 10 out of 10 feeder for your chameleon. They're high in protein. They don't fly. They don't climb smooth surfaces. They do, however, climb cardboard. So <laughs> this should be fun. But as far as smell goes, um, yeah, they get a, a one, one, one out of 10. So not smelly at all. So without further ado, oh man, I'm not gonna like this. I did not know this is what I was signing up for. Oh gosh, okay, okay. Oh, they're everywhere. I don't know the best way to get them in there. Oh gosh, oh gosh. And they're big, I ordered big ones. And people are like, oh, just touch them with your hands. No, we are using our tongs big time for all of these puppies. Okay, okay. Everyone stay put. I feel like I should get a hair tie for my hair. Okay, <laughs> one second. Okay guys, I don't know how much of that you witnessed, um, but yeah, so now the roaches are in their container, all is well. Let's see if I can close this. All right, their new home. So, doobie roaches get a one out of 10. The only other, there's two more bugs I wanted to talk about. The next one is black soldier fly larvae. Which are these guys here. No, those are the wax ones. These guys are the black soldier fly larvae. These guys also get a one out of 10. Um, they're really not smelly at all. The only thing that's like remotely smelly about them is the powder that they sometimes come in can have a smell, but really it's it's not bad. It's actually got a, kind of a pleasant smell. And the last bug that I want to talk about, that's definitely um, doobie poop in dead legs. Um, but the last bug I want to talk about are flies. So flies, moths, um, anything like that. Those go get a zero out of 10. They're not smelling at all. They're a great feeder for your chameleon. So yeah, there you go. Ranking bugs. 
on smell, unboxing 500 doobie roaches unexpectedly. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Like I mentioned, this is all from doobieroaches.com. Feel free to use the link in the description box below to get 10% off your order. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions or comments down below. Feel free to subscribe so you know when I post a new video. And you can follow Neptune and all my chameleons on Instagram at Neptune the Chameleon. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye! Almost got two of them. Gotta chew it. Don't play with your food, Apollo. Chew, go, chew, chew, chew it.